Welcome back everybody to another episode of Retro Revival, where we try and bring classic games back to life. In today's episode, I'm going to tackle the sequel to the popular action-adventure series Tomb Raider 2. I originally wanted to make this video a while ago, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get the widescreen resolution to function correctly. Well, I decided to take another shot at it, and thankfully, I found a much simpler solution that involves only a few easy steps that will give you full native widescreen support with the correct aspect ratio, in addition to fixing some other issues like modern controllers not being recognized in-game. Step 1. Install Tomb Raider 2. If you haven't already, you can buy Tomb Raider 2 on Steam for $7, but you're probably better off waiting for a big sale on the bundle. Step 2. Download Pyxodo's patch. Use the link in the description to find this purple forum page, and download the patches in that post by Pyxoto. It's a collection of injectors that can fix a number of games, including several old-school Tomb Raider games. Transfer the contents of the zip file to an easy-to-find folder on your computer. It really doesn't matter where you put it. Step 3. Open the help.exe. To use Pyxoto's patch, click on the help.exe file, and it'll boot up a program with a bunch of old games listed on the side. Find Tomb Raider 2 and read through the information to get a better understanding of what this patch is capable of doing. Step 4. Download and run the multi-patch. Pyxodo's patch requires that you download a separate patch first, a smaller patch that is designed specifically for Tomb Raider 2 and 3. Use the link provided in Pyxodo's help program and download the multi-patch. When the multi-patch loads up, you'll eventually find yourself on a page that lets you choose what you want to install. Make sure you check Available Updates, and then under Utilities, make sure you extract utilities to the desktop. This patch is designed for the disc versions of the game, and since we're actually running the digital Steam version, we're going to want to get the files and install them directly into the Steam Tomb Raider 2 directory. Drag the files into the directory and overwrite any pre-existing files there to install the multi-patch. Step 5. Configure help.exe now that the multi-patch is successfully installed, turn back to the help.exe and scroll down through the settings and ensure that the option Force Native Resolution is checked. You shouldn't have to really change anything else here, but if you're really wanting to, you can install various mods using this injector to improve your experience. I personally wanted to preserve the game, so we're just going to keep it as it is in this video. Step 6. Launch the game. Now, unfortunately, using this method will only work if you launch the game through this injector. So, if you try to boot the game through the Steam icon, it'll result in the same broken game as before. But if you want to make this process easier, select Create Shortcut in the help.exe, and use that shortcut to launch the game. Now the game should boot up correctly, albeit with a smaller FMV video, which is not really that big of a deal. To test the gameplay, go ahead and load a save, or load into Lara's mansion and run around. If Laura appears too skinny or stretched out, then something went wrong, and you should try to uninstall the game and start this guide over. Otherwise, you're good to go. Step 7, which is actually optional, configure your controller. Now, this step is optional, but if you wanted to play this game with an Xbox controller or whatever, that injector we used helped fix that too. Now, when you open the game's inventory menu, scroll down to the options page, and you can go over to the controller options and input your own controls using your Xbox controller or whatever you're using. The left joystick should actually already be functional in-game by default, so all you really need to do is set your face buttons to whatever commands you want. Use the screen to set your controls to the way they were on the PlayStation if you want a similar experience. And that's it, now the game should run perfectly at a native resolution with full controller support and hopefully no issues. So let's go ahead and run through the steps briefly. Step 1, install Tomb Raider 2. Step 2, download Pyxodo's patch. Step 3. Open help.exe Step 4. Download and install the Tomb Raider multi-patch Step 5. Configure help.exe Step 6. Launch the game And Step 7, which is optional, set the controls And that's how you get Tomb Raider 2 running on modern hardware in 2017 with a native widescreen resolution and basic controller support You can actually even run this game at 4K, which is pretty cool if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know, but in the meantime, I hope this video was helpful, and be sure to like and subscribe for more Retro Revival.